Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Council and this is Fossey. So, um, we are here in this new room. Uh, yeah, this was the note, right? She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with a sword. So there has to be some man with a sword, apparently. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Hey, I can inspect this. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Hmm. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. Oh. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Figure 11. Uh, think about the secret code. Uh, sum up the information from the painting. I have royal jelly here. Think about the secret code. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined. And a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere. And it must be associated with the figure 11. Alright. What's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure maybe? Hmm. I, I, I won't do this here now. So I want to keep my points. Uh, fuck. Let's see. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Do you have the key? Use the use the left key. Use the right key. What? Eh? Pick both locks. Difficulty seven. Oh my god! There must be so. There there has to be so good loot in there. Shit! But seven, dude. Seven. I mean, I could do this one. Next skill use is free. I guess this is worth it. Oh. <laughs> Golden elixir, what else? I do not picked up inventory full. Are you fucking joking, man? Amber fragment, this is nice. That was it? Just the fucking two two elixirs and uh and, and amber? Come on man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Ha, it's a uh, Observe. A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Okay. Thing of importance, I guess. Uh, wait, can I go out? Ah, here. Collector coins, okay. The New Testament. Uh, can I analyze it? What is it? A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. The Gutenberg Bible? This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. Alright. Uh, read. Uh, I don't know what to read, dude, to be honest. So uh, I guess reading. I'll just come back later. St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Okay, um, what else? Trust my face with the man with the sword, you yeah. So Fistria, I got another book. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Can we remove it somehow? Hmm, okay. Devil's Thorn. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the Apostles by Guido Rini. Okay. So, what to do here? Amber. Amber. Helen unlocked Prince of Amber. What was it? The effort pool increased by one. Intuitive, a swift. Um. Here, right? Increase effort points by one. Find 12 fragments. Alright, alright. So, these ones, I haven't progressed one bit here. Use exactly one consumable of each type during a quest. Alright, let me check this. Use no consumable during a quest. Okay. 
Uncover all of Johan von Wallner's immunities and vulnerabilities. I guess we can do that, right? Um, we can do that with um, with the Devil's Thorn. What is it? What is it? Empathetic. Uncover all of. Okay. Cover. Um. Okay. I mean, we have we have three episodes more, so this should be relatively easy here. All right. Um. Yeah. So what to do? Uh, let me check this here again. Saint Paul painted by Guido Rini. Spect he's not an evangelist. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the thirteenth apostle. All right. Um. Some information from the painting. Let's do this. So we have the figure eleven, twice underlined, and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure eleven. Okay, okay. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Okay, um, so, a text, he says. So this should be this here, right? Uh, Paul, right? Uh, so I guess I will read the Paul things. Epistle to the Romans, the Corinthians. Dude, I don't know, man. Gospels to St. Mark, St. John, St. Luke, St. Matthew, Acts of the Apostle, back to the beginning. Ugh. Uh, ah, chapter tw 2, verse 11, right? This one. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Uh, okay. Doesn't really work. Um, so what to do? All right, guys. I don't want to bore you with uh, with the Bible stuff here. Um, maybe I will read through it, and if there is anything interesting here, I will of course show it. If not, then I just move on and uh, let's see. Maybe we can we can. Uh, we can uh, go to the 11 things. Are there somewhere 11 here? Here. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Right. <sighs> I guess I will read just from the beginning. Uh, this is, this is uh, very, very odd here. All right, I just came back to the first room here and saw this uh, portrait. It was also from St. Paul, or St. Paul is depicted here. And we can have another option here, two representations of the same saint. St. Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? But apparently there is... Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior yeah apparently this uh this doesn't get me any further maybe the hint twice so we have uh, the 11 and maybe some somewhat with a two hmm all right guys i just uh i just uh, saw if you go to the uh epistles of paul one two then to the Romans, there is chapter 11, verse 11. I didn't notice it before. So there was this uh, 11 double underlined, right? So this should be some 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 good thing here. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait. Yeah. A note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E. I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? Okay, first of all, E, probably Emily. So the two work together. And, um, the youngest apostle. Um... Epistles of Paul, yes. Um, pick up the package you know where. Uh, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. 
hidden behind. So this should be a painting, right? So maybe it's one of those here. Not this one, but, but those. Can I access them again? The youngest apostle. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Yeah, here, here. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Ah, oh, come on, dude. D what is this? What is this logic, dude? Of course, there's something behind it. Come on. So I need to know which one is the youngest apostle. Yeah, the youngest apostle. I don't know. Routinize the frame. He doesn't have a beard. Oh, okay. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. What was it my mother said? That she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle. Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. Yes. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? What? Um... St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Oh, St. John, okay. Hey, wait! That means it's him. Yeah, yeah. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Yeah, yeah, we know. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. Okay, so St. John. Think about the code. Think about the figures. Remember the aforementioned book. On the second day, the pilgrims listened to the prophecy of the young apostle. The prophecy of the young apostle. That was John. And the prophecy mentioned is most likely the book of Revelations according to St. John. The book of Revelations. Wait a minute. So, the book of Revelations. Um, Where is it? Uh, oops. Sorry. Oh, one. John, or Revelation to John. John, no. Revelation to John? Maybe something here. Let me just go through them. Saying with a loud voice of the next note. Oh boy. So just uh, to sum this up, so you have to go to pastoral ep epistles. Then Revelation to John, and then it's this one, chapter 12, verse 14. And uh, now, wait a minute. Um, I guess I'll just come back later. Angels. There was angels mentioned here in this thing, right? There was there was the mentioning of angels here. There's something else behind this painting. Ah. It says, half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? Half of each group. Think about the groups of pilgrims. I think I don't need this. Um, Corinth, half the groups. So, let's see. We have uh, Corinth. Where was it? Uh, yeah, two. Um, half of them. Let me check this. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, look, here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark who will reveal the answer to them. Prussian? Volner? I must have a word with him. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Six, so um, I'll follow the first group to Mark. To Mark, so, and either it's here in this book or maybe it's another painting. This is John. Was this Mark? No, right? Look at the frame, it's like the surroundings. Uh, 
wait a minute. Let's uh, inspect the frame first. There's nothing worth noticing here. Okay. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. It's a sentence in Hebrew. Uh, I know what it means. Why in Hebrew? Occultism level one. It doesn't doesn't give me any any clues. I mean, why in Hebrew is it isn't important? This one would be important here. Linguistics. Shit. Um, let's see. Candlestick. No. Nothing of value here. Okay. Dusty piece. There are finger marks. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. Eight finger marks. Eight finger marks here, okay. Behind. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. I mean... So, is it something here? So we have maybe an eight. And if I have... I don't know, Mark. Where is Mark? Saint Mark. There's no eight here for Mark. But this is all Paul. Revelation is not nothing here with Mark. Uh, I will I will check check the Mark things here, but I don't think it's in here. Wait a minute, I got this wrong, right? So I checked for Mark um, apparently, but it was mention of of Hebrew, right? And there was Hebrew, so yeah, here Epistle to Hebrews. Yes, now we have verse eight, um, and it was mentioned of. Um, Six, right? Six, um, the half of the groups, uh, whatever, and he said it, um, it was six. So it should be six, eight. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. Fucking A. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's say tomorrow evening, in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. New pilgrims near Paul, um... Who was, who was Paul again? This was Mark? Uh, was this Paul? No. Wait. It's Saint John. Ah, uh, John, yeah. Painted by Guido Rini. Uh, Paul. To the left, it said. Wait, wait. Um, when Paul understood that only the ex he went back on the strikes, I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. St. Paul yeah. painted by Guido Rini. To his left. Alright. Um, so... To his left. Does this mean this painting here? No, right? No, 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 no. I think it has also something to do with the, with the Bible, but let's be thorough here. Be thorough. This was also Paul. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Yeah. Oh, now I can examine the frame. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Four. All right. So we have four. This helps a lot. We have four. So, let me just check this. Um, in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. In the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. But I don't know... Uh, when Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. Only the axe counted. And we have the number four. Let me see. Paul's, Corinthians, Galatians, Romans. Hmm. 
so I guess it's none of those here. Um, and none of those as well. Act, act, the acts counted here. Number four. There is no number four here. Eh? Ah, with the with the pilgrims that followed him, right? So it should be then either six or ten. Maybe ten. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here. A message from Mother and reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Hmm. I mean, how, how can this be literal? Beyond the nightmare. This, this cannot be literal unless there is a book or whatever called The Nightmare. The Nightmare. Nightmare. Did I ever read it or whatever? Read it? Um, I don't know. Nightmare. I need to go beyond the nightmare. Now, I, I don't think this could... Oh, it, 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 it could be both, to be honest. Allegorical or literal. The Nightmare. I think it's literal. I think there is something here in this in this uh, castle in this um, in this mansion that is called the nightmare, whatever. Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but but what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? It's an object. It's a place. It's a concept. Fuck, dude. Ah, the nightmare. What what can it be? What can it be? The nightmare. Days, days. It's a concept. A concept? But how can you can you walk beyond a concept? This, this doesn't work. A nightmare. It could be an object, right? So maybe um We read a lot of, of, of Dante's books, right? So we have like three or four Dante's books. Was there maybe uh these were all already dark and gloomy? Maybe this probably has to do with an object or something. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Oh, come on. Try to remember. Cost reduced. <laughs> I mean, I can cheese it here with my uh, with my thingy. Outside the manor, I, I, I wasn't outside. A second floor room. You know what? I will, I will, I will do this here. I mean, this is a very important thing, so let's do this was a study. I'm practically sure of it. Study? Yes. It's the painting that was behind Mortimer's study. Oh. Well, let's see if Mortimer has anything to hide behind his painting. I never observed it. I never, I think, I never observed it. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. All right, guys, now, item added, Bible's note, we got something else, wait a minute, let's cure. Uh, we got something else, a new trade, right, or talent, rather, I don't know. Um, or was it a trade? Yes. One uh, skill point in occultism, you found your mother's messages hidden in the Bible, all right. We left without getting, okay. Um, yeah, so now we have to join Mortimer. And I think this may conclude, this may conclude this, this, uh, episode two, probably. Um, but we will find out in the next episode, because I will call the day here, guys. Why can't I move on? Alright. Uh, yeah, in the next episode we will go right to Mortimer, and, uh, let's see what we can find out behind the painting. And then maybe this episode is concluded. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day and we'll see each other in the next episode of The Council. Take care.